those of you who have made their sites most of you have made the site actually because when we had worked on genomio thing so 80 percent of you had said that we have uh, done the work you can share your screen of your laptop and demonstrate what are the things you have done till now and the assignment was if you remember the assignment was adding four things to a particular topic one was a page then it was adding a document then it was adding a url the moment i say document i mean to say the activity or the resource is called file after the url it was in assignment so these four things you people if you have done or you have done something else now we will be looking at the work done by others rather than taking the questions so please note this thing in mind i may question you you can also share some questions but i wish that you share the things you have done now dr shrinivas rao is sharing the screen the next one can put it in the chat that i want to share so that no one else like at one time two people will not share the screen yes sir now this looks fabulous indeed great very nice sir good you have done class management now you have moved on to assessment and evaluation uh, you can switch on your mic also should i say that you have organized the quiz like you have made a quiz here or it is yet to be made uh, yes sir uh, your quiz there is a quiz inside like you already tried it Oh, good, 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 good. Seems like you knew how to make the quiz. Okay. Good. Like you, someone tried and it was finished also. Reattempt is also there. Very good. Like it seems you had allowed the person to reattempt it. The time limit is also given by you. Very good. So there are seven questions, it seems. Very nice. And, uh, you have willingly put uh, i guess one question on each page because there is an option that you can bring four questions on a page and five so it's good sir nice sir and uh, you, i guess you also know that there are fill in the blanks or drag and drop options also in the quiz i request everyone because one of our colleagues because you know about it so if i'm not able to take the queries of someone in the hands-on session they can come bring their questions to you so i'm going to expand my team today very nice sir very short answer yes you can open this good attempt the quiz nice okay uh, your voice is your voice is not clear actually Yes, sir. There is some noise coming okay. either from your mic or someone else. Uh, less audible, sir. Uh, now, like you can uh, short answer. Now, I when I was working on this short answer thing, I noted that we have to give those options. Like we give them two, three options that these are the alternatives yes yes so it is not in a way see open-ended like you are providing possible identical answers to these so short answer is explanatory you give them open-ended you say options but you feed the answers beforehand very nice sir i'm glad that you have done it i'm, I'm really glad And I guess you are, your assignment is quite near completion. Uh, can I see the announcement segment? Okay, very nice. You have made a chat room and you have placed a thing about questions also. Uh, this is the introductory question we can say. Very nice. You know, uh, those of us have done B.Ed. or M.Ed. 
or have undergone some training of education there is a thing called previous knowledge testing so this is a very nice thing sir introducing the lesson is done through announcement so this goes a very good way thank you thank you uh, we can move on to other participant presentation otherwise you will keep on seeing me only <coughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir. Uh, so this is Tapan Hotta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as for your guideline yesterday, I have created a course on engineering thermodynamics. Yes. Yeah. So first you can see the announcement for the students. It is there. And uh, so I have created a, a chat room and there. one is a chat room mm -hmm. where the students can add their comments, suggestions, as well as feedback about the course. Right. Uh, then I have created a forum where they can raise their question and answers. Very nice. And about the course. Very nice, sir. Good going. Then, then I have created four chapters, sir. Chapter one is basically the introduction to thermodynamics. Uh, okay. There I have created again uh, four sub chapters. Mm -hmm. The first one will be the topics to be covered in the chapter one. If mm -hmm. you click mm -hmm. there. You can see that the following topics will be discussed in the chapter one. Okay, we are... a fair idea about what is right, right, sir, right, sir. Very good. So then after after this one, I have I have shared some of my own materials, so the classroom mm -hmm. materials. Very good. Uh, there is a PDF you have and uploaded. Yeah, I very nice. A PDF, so yeah. this will give them a fair idea about the, the things. What done, I'm done, going done. To and they will download it, and it will be with them. And is it your own own a, own material, sir? Like you created this PDF? This, or? this is my own material. Own done, sir. So this, this is my own material. done I'm done. The PDF. Okay, sir. Good, sir. Like your personal notes are there. Yes, sir. Nice. I'm just, it's a, I'm just opening it so that you can get a fair idea. And... Uh, sure. And we'll be talking about after this session at ten. Like you have made a PDF. Almost every teacher makes the notes. Every teacher has got their diaries. Like and you make your presentations yes, also. Uh, so, yes, and what we can do is in all the notes or the presentations, we can put those conditions. Like we don't want to put the copyright. We suppose that we want to share things with others, but still. We'll yeah. be giving we'll be giving certain creative con you say commons licenses. We'll talk about it, and every presentation, every PDF that you upload or share in the future will have that thing, and that is a very interesting thing. You'll you'll all love it when it will be shared with you. Uh, yes, sir. You can show the course now. Yeah, this is the this is the material, sir. After yeah, this is the yes yes yes. Nice, sir. You can after that I have mm -hmm. given a web link for them. URL is given. Yeah, Very. so this will take them to a YouTube video where they can get a more idea about the, the course as well. Nice, sir. Nice, sir. Now, see, we, you have not downloaded and uploaded it, so there is no copyright infringement from your side. You have simply shared the link. Yes. So, sharing is allowed, yes, so it is possible also. Yes, sir. Then I have given them a small assignment and uh, having only Hello? two to three questions here. Yes. Uh, so then I've given them uh, assignment. Is it and, urgent? Uh, like I'm in a meeting. Questions, and so that uh, they, they will be uh, well at, at the knowledge whatever they 11, gain. 11 11:30 or one. Right. Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're going the fine. Way, the same way I have gone to the chapter number two mm -hmm. and chapter number three as well as four. Mm hmm. But I have uh, given that the chapter four has to open on 26th April. Very nice. Restricted chapter access. April. Mm -hmm. And chapter two will be from tomorrow. And chapter one is on live now. So they can assess the materials from the chapter one. Nice. Apart from that, I have created the participant list as well. And uh, these are the list of the students in my course. And they will be able to assess the different materials. Uh, like if I look at these things, can you just show me the list once? The participants. Which one, sir? Participants. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Participants. Uh, I'll just yes, check. Sir. I want to see something. Now, see, suppose like this is not for you, but for others, uh, the status is active yes, and they have got last access is never. 
so this thing gives you an idea like those who have logged in and it will tell you like at what time they have logged in 9 hours ago like this person soma reddy student has logged in yes yeah. so in 16 seconds before this you also logged in you are a teacher and a student so this thing will give you an idea and there is a button called status above it you click on it and you sort all the people who have never logged in you make a list of it and you simply send them a reminder that they have not logged okay. in so it helps us to keep a check on students who have accessed it the, the you see you added them as students but they have not like uh, logged in so it helps you knowing it so this is this is a simple way of keeping an eye or the monitoring thing activity can be seen activity log can be seen under participants yes sir uh, this is fine perfect yes sir okay sir thank, thank you, you sir so thank you sir we can move on to next now the screen has announcement okay yes i can see it hmm question forum chat with your teacher okay introduction to analysis offer i am giving some hmm. introduction about the analysis mummy awaaz laga rahi hai eku dadi awaaz laga rahi here the internet is little bit slow hmm hmm right sir sir can i show this ppt i had to have made that screenshot why not you can click on it sir yes sir yes the ppt is visible to us Actually, hmm uh dr gajendran is visible to you sir uh, yes it is visible sir we can actually see this you have placed the link also no, i i can see this i can see the first slide has got a genomio link also sir whether the ppt is visible to you sir yes 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 i saw the ppt yes it is visible yes sir okay sir actually this is my course category mm hmm hmm now you need to get back to the course uh, in the browser i have seen the presentation what is uh yes it's good work you have also shared the presentation with me uh yes it's good work like you're going fine good and while you are creating though uh, the friends who are using windows 10 you can press shift windows button and s s for super i uh, seen it seems for to take a screenshot i was telling you yes uh, there's some internet problem no problem so you have done the work the presentation is uh, like uh, able to ev evident that thing we can move on to next presenter you've done good work good work sir Do dr puru good work dr t k setu ramalingam is presenting ah yeah, sir you you i'm just waiting for the screen to come to me hope it's open ah uh, yes sir yeah digital combination logic circuits mm -hmm. i have given the announcement to the student about uh, what the students are uh, going to learn in this topic nice sir and then i have given a discussion for chat nice nice and all these descriptions are being made uh, displayed on the page very good sir yes then i have given the introduction about the uh, there is a, this is the introduction topic mm -hmm. for which i have given a page contains a write up about what is logic gate mm -hmm. uh, which a minimum of 100 words i given okay. a small write up over here sir that is good and then i have given an uh, video link it's an entitled video or a youtube video mm hmm external url nice i'm thinking this uh, the student can able to view the video about uh, what is the fundamentals of uh, nice Basic sir logic. nice and see sir uh, my computer friends those who know programming they they know what embedding is i'm sure okay, okay, okay. that they will understand one thing that when we are going to embed something in the websites we need an embedding code and moodle is ha has got that thing that we bring the link only and it embeds it 
that is why like you brought the link and then it's good it's good sir now handouts are there handouts i have uh, provided my material what we have used in my classroom session uh yes uh sir sh nice should i ask you a very straight yes, question uh, with a yes and no do you think yeah. do you think that you will be able to use your moodle site for actual implementation with the students yes or no like will you be able to use it Sir, i already have a moodle content in the oh great for a course which i taught for the student very nice so i'm talking to a fellow teacher then uh for your question i have a i have a resource tool of the moodle zip to format can you able to see this sir ah uh, yes i can M MB oh right nice you have already got this thing nice yeah I, I have. so that's the backup so also i have given yes sir it's a backup for my uh, classroom subject which nice. i got here nice good 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 very nice very nice sir and uh, this is the assignment i have hmm I asked the student to draw the circle cube and uh, do the table contents nice, and sir. upload it in a PDF form. Okay, you document type. Ah, uh, you specified that PDF uh, format or you said any format? Yes, sir. Yes. You specified, sir. Nice. Uh, sir. Document or PDF? Document yeah, or PDF. Sir. Right, right, sir. Right, sir. Document or PDF. Right, sir. Like that, I have given for uh, four different topics, sir. Ah, uh, right, sir. So same pattern has been followed uh, by you. Uh, nice sir this is this is looking perfect like we have been able to see i it. also prepared what you tell me yesterday no mm -hmm. we have to do some quiz content right? uh -huh. so i prepared a set of questions nice so based on today session we can create the questions uh, mm -hmm. in the assessment area sir nice sir uh, can you just click on the top where moodle is written like just to see the dashboard Uh, with the three bar on the left hand side, I just want to see whether your course is visible here. On yes, you can click on dashboard also. Now see, we haven't uh, like the block of course yeah. is added here, but we don't see on the left hand side the link to your course. And some of you are able to see it, some of you have it, some of you don't have it. So this thing will resolve. Uh, one question has come from someone. We'll resolve this thing. If there is anything technical, we'll resolve it. your course is visible by adding the block as uh, you have done sir yes sir uh, yes sir so same thing we suggest to everyone customize your desktop and add a block of course categories and courses meanwhile yes, today last we have done the same sir yes in the block how to uh, the show yes computer. yes 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 i remember sir nice sir i'm glad you you have done very nice things thank you sir. thank you sir uh, so if there is someone else waiting please present Ah, uh, move on to the tab which is there. Hmm. You need to move on to the Moodle administration thing. Yes, sir, Doctor Gajendran. Nice. Ah, uh, you need to unmute yourself so that I can hear you on the screen. Me, yes. Yes, sir. Uh, though you are still unmute i can see your work you have done well you can scroll down to things and we can see this good announcements have been done introduction 
you have added a handout you have added something three phases three phase circuits restricted access to it restricted the access to this nice three phase star good good nice sir nice sir things are fine student one two are the names you have given things are perfectly fine there is just uh, there is one thing to be suggested to everyone like uh, I, i'll demonstrate that thing because uh, in place of restricting access to files or the things one by one suppose you have got four things you have got a page you have got a url you have got an assignment and you also have got a file to download all these four things there is a heading of that particular topic in front of that thing there is another editing button you can restrict access to the complete module or the topic also rather than uh, if you do not like want to put separate dates of opening so if you block one only restrict one segment so it it gets blocked for everyone now this is fine now this is 103 so how to make a course visible dr sabita that is the way like we decided that we'll customize the dashboard and then we'll bring the course on the dashboard so that happens uh, so i guess uh, you allow me to move on to the presentation that i wanted to share with you all the presentation relates to creative commons before that if you want something which is really stopping you from understanding what we did yesterday you can kindly ask there are primarily three things number one going to genomeo and making a website then the other thing was after making the website you reach the home page you go to site administration then you go and manage the categories you create a category you hide the miscellaneous category you create a category and then instantly you create a course for you and the moment you create a course you decide whether it is going to be weekly or it is going to be something which is not weekly but a topic wise one i'm sharing my screen with you also so that i can demonstrate this thing to you so this is about this is the thing that we had created you go to site administration after landing on the home page this is task 1 task 0 is that let me show you the task 0 that way that can be done later on you go to this segment and this segment is what this segment is where you have got the profile change and all these things you may do this photograph and something in the profiles one and then you move on to site administration in the site administration we jump to courses and in the courses segment we create a category create a course in the course one so there are primary two things that i wish that you people keep your eyes on on the users and the courses so in the courses one you manage add a category or manage the categories of the courses already made this manage thing appears only when you have made something but if you have not made something it won't appear so add a category then this thing doctor uh, one of the teachers shared with us that he already has got a course running and he had the backup so suppose you already have a backup being made by you of some course shared by someone or you took the backup earlier you can restore the backup of that mbz file also that is a semi advanced thing that we people can learn now users after creating the course again site administration then users then you can add one user or you can upload the users so these things we have done yesterday once you make them users please remember they are being made users not participants so to make them participants you need to add them as participants in a particular course that you are offering so what we do is we upload the users we come to the dashboard and once we have reached the dashboard then we can see that the name and all these things have been changed we already have created a course this way or we can use this one this is the customize this page thing that i was talking about dashboard this is the course you enter your course virtual teaching training for teachers or any other course that you have made you uh, the moment you open your course you can see this thing on the left hand side participants you click on participants because you have successfully added users to your website 
now these users can be enrolled as participants you click on this enroll button then here those names will appear no suggestions because i have not added anyone so when you are adding them you select their name it appears here and then you select the role you want to suppose you are adding a fellow teacher you are adding a non editing teacher who will only take the classes like if you are you have got some research scholars under you and you want them to take some classes also so they can be added as teachers they'll take some special sessions if you can make someone else course admin also and then you can also set that from when they will display themselves as in their role so this was the enrollment of users and then we have created a course also so we go to the general thing and then we'll display everything on the screen now this is the course that we had created restricted access is here but suppose now the very first thing if i intend to edit something i go here i turn the editing on so when the editing has been turned on now what i'm doing is everything is editable now i can move them i can drag them i can make a proper sequence that a page should go there first and then a url can go then a quiz can go then an interactive activity can go so i know the flow of my own lecture so i manage it suppose i want to like restrict everything under this moodle thing ma'am is it like visible and going fine Yeah, yes ma'am fine fine ma'am now this is moodle so what i do rather than restricting everything i'll simply go to this edit button rather than se go, se separately like doing something i'll go here i'll edit my topic so this is why like uh, one of our teachers has written chapters it is completely your prerogative your you say willingness to call it a chapter or a topic or a subtopic see i have opened my topic see the topic is moodle i have not given a summary of the topic though i can write a summary now this is restrict access for the topic i am adding a, a restriction the restriction that i am adding is 20 second for the topic so from 20 second i am saving the changes this is restricting the complete topic and there are three or four you say segments in it now you can see this moodle thing has got restricted till 22nd of april the topic is restricted these because i am the owner so i can see that what is here but still these things will not open for the student because the whole topic is restricted so we'll go here we'll do a revision where i'll be removing this restriction you go here restrict access there is only one option under the topic either like one two options one is about section name and summary and the other one is this now see if you have seen this this particular text box appears everywhere wherever we have got some descriptions so please remember these are the options like suppose i want to make a large heading so the large heading is there heading so we can make it bold also we can put a bullet and a number also you can put a hyperlink also now when like you 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 select a text and then you click here and then suppose i i do this this then i click here and then i say create a link and i want to open it i want my user to open it in new window so new window is suggested so that they don't lose this tab this tab remains they, they will not need to create uh, click on the back button so create a link now this heading is clickable i can click on it and then it will take me to another one i can put an image repository or you you upload it then uh, there is a thing called record an audio start recording good morning everyone we are talking about how to manage the headings of the topics and we know that rather than restricting each topic one by one we can completely restrict the topic itself done good morning everyone we are talking about so, how to manage this the is... headings of the topics and we know that rather than restricting each topic so uploaded to moodle and then added here so audios should be used by you we teachers are comfortable at speaking rather than like video recording everyone may not be able to record the video so i would suggest that go for the audio thing your voice is known to the t to the students along with the words that you use on the board so those things will go fine i'm saving the changes so this this audio thing and video insertion image insertion all these things are possible 
almost everywhere in all the pages wherever description is there now you can see the restriction has not been changed but the heading has got an audio good morning everyone we are talking about now you can see and heading it has got a hyperlink also as two of our friends had asked yesterday if i click here you see this website opens because there was a hyperlink so this is what we had done till yesterday add activity and resource and then you get those options these assignment chat choice database external tool and all these things are there please remember external tools or some extra plugins are possible only when they are being installed they are being installed on the Moodle site and because our Moodle site is hosted on Genomeo so it we are supposed to depend on them which one is being allowed by them at present these are the visible ones we can explore Moodle cloud and later on when you host it on your own domain then you get the actual freedom of installing everything that you want to be it attendance certificate be it other big blue big blue button or something big blue button is not part of this so at present it is not being shared with you glossary you should try everyone who's going to work on engineering or science subjects make a glossary as well it's quite easy if you want it can be demonstrated right now i click on glossary i l i'm going to click on add the glossary is going to be added to one of the topics it can also be added to any module that you want i'll say internet v o c a b u l a r y this is this display description of this on the course page i'll say no is this glossary global global means no. please remember this blue button with a question mark is the helpful button for us it's our friend so we click here a global glossary has entries which are linked to from throughout the site rather than only in the course that the glossary is in only administrators can set a glossary as global like you are making a glossary which is applicable on all the topics or it is particular to one topic if i'm inserting it in unit number two or topic number two and i click on global so the glossary goes to the whole course it relates to the whole course now glossary type is secondary or it is the main glossary i'll say the main glossary and it is this entries how many appearance grade rating blah 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 all these things are almost the same so now this thing is here now see what i'll do i have created the glossary introduction introduction means i'm creating this particular uh, you say segment i'm going to save and return to the course you will ask now how to add those words to it once i have created this particular segment it appears somewhere internet vocabulary is my glossary this is the name i have given and i'll click here now and see now what will open now it will allow me to make those entries and all those things now here i can make the entries add a new entry search full text you allow them to search but add, see this is on all and this button will remain with you and the students also you simply click here and you go to any segment of your course so this is the navigation which is there with us so what i'm doing is i am going to add something to a and but there is nothing in the a segment so like i'll add it first and then people will be able to find it so adding a new entry we are working on glossary i have named it internet vocabulary what is the concept the concept is www now what is www is www is the world wide web i guess it uh invention by so in came in 2002 or 2001 or somebody can help me out and then now we have we are into web 202.0 or there was a world wide web web 1.0 now is world wide web so this is the glossary and please remember the concept is starts with the w and then i'm not adding an image to it i'm not adding keywords but i can add the keywords so that these keywords will allow them to search now keywords like the alices of something suppose they search for 
uh, www or they search for something so you can add these tags also i'm not using all these things i'm just saving it just to show one example of it and please remember we have added something with w now if i go to this w see we have clicked on all so all will appear here if i click on a now it goes in search and says there is nothing with an a but i'll say www is what or in thermodynamics or in physics or in something they search for it and now here i have got the entry for glossary now this is the glossary thing now this is the edit settings for the glossary if you remember now this is the glossary global and those things we had done so this is about adding the glossary i am just jumping out of this and going to the course again just to tell you where the glossary is i will speak how i added now the glossary has been added somewhere here but i feel the glossary has been added here but it should not be placed here why not take it to the top of it or take it to the announcement itself so this is what i'm doing i'm simply dragging it from one segment to another segment so this is what like we can do internet vocabulary is here or i can take it to the announcement also so this is what we do this is and, and then i turn the editing off when i am turning the editing off it goes to the student if somebody has got some question you can kindly like i'm, I'm just moving on to uh, once stop my screen sharing and then look at uh, the chat if there are certain questions that you can answer after this we are going to work on uh, creative commons we'll be talking about something else also dr ag made the two doubts the course is not visible on the left side how to add the users in bulk i'm answering the second question first you go to site administration in the site administration dr ag matthew what you do is you click on users and then you find upload users you find upload users and uh, you click on it it will ask you to upload a csv file the format i have shared with you the format can also be find found on internet it should be csv file with the username proposed by you the first name the last name and the email id of the student you upload that file because you have not inserted the password so once you upload that file there there means site administration users upload users and then you upload that file there are certain options which will come and you will read and you will understand them so it will create them as users they will not get a notification after ad getting added as users but when you will go to your course and add them as participants only then they will get a notification that they have been added as an as a participant and this is the automatically generated password and the username for them uh, yeah, i got it sir i added it yesterday's file i added it now uh, okay sir it is coming it is coming sir yeah. that file is there and there are certain yeah. more options sir you can even create those sections like cohorts in the files we are working on the basics huh. so i have insisted only three things first name say the student details email id and the username by you uh -huh. even the password can also be uh, set by you there are so many things but like we are keeping it common for everyone the course is not visible on the left side at present i have suggested that we edit the dashboard and just get it on the dashboard by customizing the blocks adding the block i'll just, just drag and place it uh, into the block ah uh, yeah yes it 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 is done okay your question came at 10 nine uh, presentation not received uh, the, the i have what i could do dr sam uh, i have uploaded all the three videos which have been there so i guess that's the presentation that i could share because everything is there in the video uh, taking screenshots of the video and making a powerful presentation will make me feel very slow uh, how to add questions in a multiple choice we are going to move on it for sure that's night out uh, i tried to add users it is not reflecting dr beam kumar will assist you sir in the hands on session after tea uh, can glossary be added in at a time uh, dr shrinivas rao i didn't get your question you can add glossary to every topic you can update your glossary any time 
you can add one glossary for the whole mod whole course also you can add one glossary to everywhere you can have two glossaries like you're adding one glossary for physics one for uh, you say thermodynamics in the same course that's your wish you are going to name the glossary so i named it internet glossary so it came is it possible to copy the class to some other class with a different course code yes sir you simply take the backup of the course as uh, uh, one of the faculty shared with us you keep a backup of it i'll just i, I can demonstrate you how to take a backup uh, you you keep your question in your mind do ask it when we'll be demonstrating things i'll show you that's a very nice thing that's an easy one you restore you keep a backup and then you restore it there is some technicality in restoring the backup so that in which you will need some assistance will will also help you later uh, presentation video audio not received uh, dr sam i'm not able to get what presentation in video and audio you're talking about prepare a account announcement and notes but after save and return nothing is on display save and return nothing on display dr abdul ahad we need to check it out with you through your screen also post t you do share your screen and then we'll will help you not a problem how to add books now uh, keep a keep a book like click on it dr gajendran click on add an activity see when you add a book first you give a title to that thing and then you give a description then that thing appears in your course page then you click on it as we clicked on the glossary segment and then you see how it wants the upload the upload is being treated as a book by it i'll demonstrate that thing also one word at a time and all words at a time sir in glossary uh, dr shrinivas it is your wish the the glossary if the by default it is clicked on all so if the if you click on a b c d it appears because if there are 100 words so rather than scrolling down as see dictionary has got so many words on one page it's like a dictionary that way there is no presentation dr mp now suppose there are 100 words on one page then clicking all will not help somebody wants to search or somebody wants to go alphabetical so that way it is possible whether students can access my site anywhere of course 101% because it is online so anything which is online can be accessed anywhere presentation not visible because it is not being shown whether students can access my site anywhere yes dr prashanthaman it can be done now if there are any more questions i have missed can a glossary there are two questions one was about how to enroll students dr lumal i am enroll student i guess we have done it multiple times you do look at the video sir the which has been shared course is not visible we are, we are going to work on it before that bulk users okay uh, for your sake i'll i'll use this thing let me share the screen now i'm going to do only two things now before moving on one is adding the bulk users and you can switch on your audio that way i'll go to site administration after clicking here i'll go to site administration and show you how bulk users are being added if you people have not downloaded the file from the whatsapp group the csv file please remember the first column will be user name the second column will be the first name the third column is the last name and the fourth column is the email id these four things are required save as a csv file and then upload it to moodle where you click on site administration i have requested everyone to make teams also if you have got friends who are known to you colleagues from the same campus around you so make a sort of a group yourself and then you can also like clarify things site administration like if you say this is site administration and then it takes me to courses and after courses i move on to upload users so this is what i have talked about now i'll erase it and if you remember this thing keeping an eye i'll move on to upload users i go to upload users and simply the thing comes here oh upload courses has been clicked wait i was misreading just because of having more concentration or focus this is the user 
this is upload users you can see this upload users you click on upload users under users and then it will ask you to upload the csv file after that the process is not difficult you click <coughs> here you attach a file and then you get your users so experiment with it site administration users upload a file upload a csv file only or a notepad we are not sharing with you the notepad version it will not confuse you people who are in the advanced stage of learning they can take assistance 28 format for bulk users upload this so this is one format or i have shared another one with you i guess 21 tlc c80 document there is something now this is a format suppose this is a csv file i upload it and then these users will come so this is what i have done there's another question which was shared uh, learn easy course is not visible on the left side but i'm insisting that it is visible at the center so let's work on development of the course it will come on the left side also how to embed a url okay ppt is i'm not showing the presentation so it is not visible how can you increase the sections after the course page is saved very good question uh, we did not like mention it much now this is the dashboard of my course which is opening i go to the course this is the dashboard of me as a user so there is only one course here so one is visible let me tell you how to add the topics and you can also hide certain topics there is a possibility that you don't want to teach a particular topic so what you do you hide it now these are all the topics which are visible now i'll go to turn editing on turn editing on and then here it is at the bottom whosoever asked at the bottom there is a thing called add topics so add a topic from here and the topic is added if you want to hide a particular topic you can hide a particular topic also that uh, it is being hidden from students if you can see this so you can hide and or you can show you can delete also you can delete it also you can highlight it also so we are not changing much uh, another question is how can you increase the sections okay i have done it uh, audio is on for one of the faculty where the students can access my site one word at a time done how to add books just a second content creation let's go to adding a book it says a book module um, the mo book module sir ko bolie audio off rakhe the now we are going to adding a new book now see adding a new book means that you are providing them with a readable thing so book on grammar description i'm not giving this is appearance common module and something something all these things are in a sort of a let's say common to everyone i'm saving in return to the course i am creating a particular module or a segment then i will get into the segment and will do with it what i need to do or what i have like in mind like we created a glossary first and then we went to the glossary as the admins of it and then we made those changes so i'm making a book the book is somewhere in 333 moodle and file and then here is a book on grammar let me click here now you can see what is going to be there chapter title sub chapter only available once the first chapter has been created i n t r o d u c t i o n o e n g l a n english l a n g language only available sub chapters first chapter has been created then i can create sub chapters i'm saving the changes for the chapter one okay description is required i didn't put the description introduction to english language chapter one
now introduction to english grammar chapter 1 what do i want to do is i want to like uh, edit something else i want to add something else that is my thing i can take chapters up or down that is again with me now see this is table of contents for the book this is settings this is delete this is hide and this is what add a new chapter that was chapter 1 i'm adding a new chapter now all this thing has come when you clicked on add activity or resource then you click selected a book after selecting a book you gave the book a particular chapter name like i gave introduction to english then you give a small description and then you also clicked on that there are sub chapters so you say chapter 2 chapter 2 as still there is a, like this is a sub chapter of the book sub chapter means a segment of chapter like 3.1 3.2 now see can you see this 1 1.1 so if you people have found it interesting that you can create a book this is perfectly fine the contents can be added in uh, where the description was there as well now what i'll do i'll move on to this first chapter and bring to you what exactly i was talking about this is what the first chapter is i'll go to the edit settings and then i'll give a description of it i'll go back because the contents and the images and all these things are there in the chapter here i create my chapter i upload certain books or certain pdfs or something here and then i save and display so this is one thing about chapter creation now we'll work in the hands on session again on this some people some among you will try the book thing also now this is chapter 2 chapter 1 we said chapter 2 is 1.1 so this is whatever we added is being displayed here now let me go to moodle the topic in which we had added a chat box uh, you say things here we have added a book on grammar here and how it will look to the student this is the last thing before i move on for 20 minutes explanation of creative commons and some resources which are free and you can use them now you will need to keep an eye on those websites which are being shown to you from where you can take uh, free royalty free images or royalty free audios for your videos and i'll also share with you a video editing software now this is what we have got for the students if i click on book on grammar and i am treating myself as a student this is what i see there is no content being placed in the description so of course then i cannot look at anything i click here i go to chapter number 2 so these are the book chapters we can insert sort of a book like this is the, on a page they have to scroll down it remains as one piece but what is good about book is they can keep on looking from one chapter to another chapter now we will we'll start with it everyone now see uh, the introduction to this thing that we are doing in teaching whenever we are teaching whether it is in the classes or it is live we all need to prepare some content that is one thing but before that we all know that technology and science it has already invented the wheel so we won't be in a need to invent the same thing again what we are going to do we will be using that resource and then we will be inventing better things for it that is one thing that we have got youtube we have got google to search for we have got many encyclopedias we have got wikipedia we have got shodh ganga we have got so much on internet on the web we have got so much in the libraries also and being teachers we know how to make the citations citations help the authors or the creators citations help us say that we have actually done the research and we have cited we have not taken undue advantage or we have not kept the credit with us so that is why copyright came into existence that whosoever owns the thing which is created by the efforts of that person so the copyright is something that they deserve it should be there why like if i have got something if i have made something the copyright should be there with me that is that is not a false thing it is true 
but the other thing is if i keep the copyright with me and still i want to allow people to use it because i have go i have a good heart and i say that no i want people to use it but i wish that they people just cite that i'm the one who who made this then i'll say no i want them to use and put my name but i do not want them to change it then you say no i'm such a good hearted person i allow them to use my name you say that this is being created by parveen kumar and they can make commercial use of it like they can just cite that we have got this music we have got this chapter we have got these words from so and so and we are using it and we are selling it and he has given us the authority or another thing is that parveen kumar has given us the rights that we can cite his name we can modify it and then we can use it like you can modify my 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 patented product also so all these things are there but when it is about copyright you all understand one thing copyright means the door is closed if i put the c on in the circle it means there is nothing you can do other than citing if you use it and the day i got to know it and i see that you are making money out of it i'll simply jump and i'll put a case on you you upload something on youtube today it will not even be 5 minutes or i'll say few seconds you'll simply get a reply that it's a copyright infringement this music is owned by so and so either you make them partners in the money making that you are going to make or you mute this particular segment of the audio that is a very crucial thing a few of my youtuber friends those who upload certain certain things if like i'm recording an audio i'm recording a video and i'm uh, making you give a speech and in the background there is a song which is being created by someone is being played that audio is recorded in the video and then we upload the video even then the copyright jumps in the copyright notice because it is all the blockchain and the artificial intelligence thing it detects the thing which have been placed under copyright so copyright stops you from sharing but you want to share but you do not want to share everything you want your name there you want them not to make money of it but put your name only you want them to share it the way it is being created you want them to use it modify it but do not remove your name and if suppose like see this is a one one example i have written a paper on how to conduct group discussion and and how to make good of it you have read this paper you have modified it and what i said i said that you can put my name and use it further what you and use it further use it further means you can modify it and use but when you were modifying it you modified it and after that you placed another thing on it you say i'm going to make money of it then i came i said mr i gave you the license of putting my name modifying it but not make money but why are you making money now so all these liberties they they fall under the licensing that we have got for the material which is being used by people now so we'll we'll move on to this thing licensing of all the e contents and this licensing is applicable on everything it can be a printed one also now see this copyright is to explain it to you a copyright is a collection of the rights which are exclusive to the author to the creator and these are given to them by the rule of law and nobody can infringe or break these things because original works are protected by the copyright so these three things are there as the primary feature of a copyright the moment i put this symbol on the pdf that i have made i have got the right that after 5 years if i see that one school or a college is using something which is under my copyright then i can put a legal case against them this is what the books have got there on on the very first pages that it's a copyright and all rights are reserved nobody can use it doesn't matter the person is doing good or bad doesn't matter the person is uh, uh making money of it or not if you remember there was there was a legal action or a legal case going on in delhi university against the people who used to photocopy the whole books big publishers had come heavy on them and the court has said that it is wrong to copy the books completely but see i as a student i used to get a book from my library and used to go to the photocopy shop and then i'll say photocopy the whole book 
so that is something which is infringement of copyright which is against the copyright laws but still if you are writing a book i am writing a book i am i have got a blog everybody has got things to write but you want to share it like two of our teachers have got nice presentations and pdfs they have inserted but suppose uh, i get this resource from someone and i am not aware whether the copyright is there or not so i will be afraid to use it that some day the owner will come and say no this is an a copyright thing if there is a copyright you put a c that is this one but if you want people to use it and give them controlled rights please remember the word controlled rights so what would you do you would be moving on to go and use the creative commons and why licensing is important that way if i if i like share this thing with you giving a license is quite important every vehicle that we buy has to have a registration number every mobile phone that we have got has got an imei number everything we have got an aadhar card we have got driving license everybody everything has got some licensing it belongs to someone so it belongs under the authority and it is being approved so this is what we need to remember now plagiarism is something which is costing people their jobs this is the minimum i can tell you and uh, see if someone has created let the creator be appreciated let the creator be praised for that thing and another thing is there which is called honest use and reliable research if someone's work is being cited it is being seen by others and if i have cited someone my research will be a bit reliable i cannot research in isolation i have to relate it to the things which have been invented before me which has which have been done uh, like in the contemporary time also so that is the honest use so these are the things i wish to get back to the chat just to see if there are certain things shared by you uh you can please type your views about copyright if you 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 can kindly type a few words in the cop in this thing hello haan ji bhai sahab gurgaon mein na police utha ke le gayi hai call center walon ko main karu kya batau kya unko abhi ki call center chal rahe hain bewakoof log uh yes sir now the queries are how to create a chapter okay we we have will do the demo again one copy is allowed for library for ipr uh that way it is it there like one copy like in the cop in the library we can do those things to preserve them but like suppose a photocopier shop you see uh, i'm in kurukshetra and the university has got many photocopy the xerox shops we say they people sell books they used to sell so that way if penguin and oxford they have got a book forget about like uh, the subjects of social sciences forget think about sciences and uh, engineering the books are say 100 dollars and then it is being sold at 500 rupees or even 1000 rupees that's it. how to get a copyright there are different rules you register for your copyright with the government of india and then you get it that is point 1 if you want to get a certified one but still if you put this symbol that this is my copyright and then something goes to public even then it is a copyright whosoever has created something and has got a, an evidence the thing belongs to you uh, who is the authority to uh, you to give you an a copyright number the authority is the government yes uh, only 20 to 25 pages can take photo copy if it is protected by copyright yes this is nice like a limited sharing is possible the same way when i was talking about the music thing there is a particular amount of seconds that you people can use the music of someone even if it is by ar rahman it is by any other one so you can use it but there is a limit to those seconds if you move beyond it it is a copyright infringement uh, my my observations my observation do not relate to my observations do not relate to the library rules and everything so now we'll move on to the thing which are related to you they are not related to library they are not related to uh, any other thing so at present the concern is that how 
the teachers who are there with me how they use the things so here it is moving on uh, i did a certificate so just to create the credibility that why i'm talking about it the open educational resources commonwealth of learning it offers an online course in 2018 i could do that course and the course taught me in a formal way the creative licensing and all those things now if you say the things which are there why to allow the creative commons the cc stands for creative commons it is an organization a unit which has brought this thing to the world so there is a world called attribution so why to allow a creative commons creative commons is you give them the liberty to use but you decide how much they can use so there are two things the first one is copyright copyright says nobody can use it without my permission but the second thing is they can use it in a controlled way with my permission and the permission is going to be specified in the document itself they do not need to come to me again and again and the reasons are quite simple you say like education is something which is a human thing like food and shelter so education belongs to everyone learning needs sharing if you if you want to enhance your learning the day you stop learning the day you stop sharing you are not no more a teacher so that way if you if you keep on sharing you 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 bring new dimensions to your learning and this world of digital you say uh, colors has no walls there are torrents there are pirated things and there is something if there are no walls people are going to use it but if you do this thing it gives you a gives you a kind of relaxation that in actual you have done this thing you have asked for it and you wanted people to use it and you wanted it to be used with these things what are these things we'll say now what is there what will you allow you will allow me and suppose there was a presentation on thermodynamics you are going to allow me to reuse it i'm going to take your pdf and share it with my class simple nothing else a uh, a student who has got this presentation from my side will be reusing it by giving it to his younger brother and sister that is reusing but th the second thing that people do with the e content is they will revise it i have got uh, an article from a blog i'm revising it making it adaptable to the my curriculum and removing a few things and adding a few things this is what we used to do when we used to sit in the library and take four or five books and noting down things as it is but selecting segments now another one is called remixing revising was making some modifications and corrections and those things remixing is that i i i create a mixture like i i bring things together make a collection remix everything and reproduce a mixture of it redistribute is i have got it i'm reusing is like keep on reusing this thing redistribution is i spread it to the public redistribution i i remix it i have done i have reused it i have revised it i have remixed it and then i'm starting the redistribution it because first you distributed it as the creator then i have done certain things on it and i'm sending it again and another thing which is allowed by creative commons is you can retain it with full confidence knowledge can be retained these are the five things which are given to us by creative commons licensing one licensing is copyright which is about closure complete closure nobody can use it without the permission granted but then there are creative commons certain licenses that you people are going to see in the next slides which allow the reuse revise remix redistribution and retain retainment now these are the creative commons and uh, most of these things are known to you when i say creative commons on wikipedia you find licensing vimeo is a video jamendo is an audio thing skill commons sketchfab youtube is quite known to all of us internet archive if you people have accessed if not do access internet archives there are books and the books are free for us to use anything which is on internet archives you can see what are the permissions there are two types there are three types actually the first one is which is freely available you can use the second one is you can take it on rent rent is sort of that for 14 days it comes to you and you read it and after that it disappears from your account the third thing is you can request for certain books that and they bring those books to you flickr is a image website so 
on these platforms and certain other platforms we see that the contents are being licensed in a creative commons way when i was uploading certain things on youtube those three recordings i was asked whether it is all rights reserved or it is creative commons i say it is creative commons attribution that if someone is sharing my video the person should just mention that it is made by so and so beyond that i don't mind anything being done to it now see this is the comparison i'm presenting to you keeping in mind that we have got uh, half an hour uh, with us why creative commons licensing is required by you and by me now understanding this thing before covid and during covid and post covid the world has always been a new place and please remember post covid the world is going to be an altogether new place we will need to share our life with others our resources with others in a better way now creative commons is a black circle with two c's one is c is creative then creative commons versus the copyright now copyright is what copyright is that nothing is being like allowed to be used and the moment this is there this this copyright is symbol is there it is assumed that any creative work even if it is copyrighted symbol is not used all rights reserved is assumed for any creative work even if the copyright symbol is not used i guess this makes it clear if uh, professor uh, you say tk or and there's one more, more faculty that who have shared with the thermodynamics presentation if you do not write anything that uh, it is copyright or not if you do not write anything it is still copyrighted if you people have written your notes on a paper and your students are using it it is a copyrighted material even if you have not said it is copyrighted anything that you have pasted on facebook on twitter on linkedin or a blog and it has been posted as a new thing by you it is by default a copyright by default but if it is a by default a copyright why would i take the risk of using it when you have not given me the permission if it is not written that you can enter you should not enter the house without permission like so the thing which comes here now what is creative commons creative commons is an organization as i told you this this is a coming together of some some you say thoughts about uh, making the tools and the creativity accessible to everyone it is a non profit organization and it provides you free legal tools now what are these legal tools these legal tools are those licenses which are there if you use those licenses on your notes obviously your notes they they get into a legal authority and for cc creative commons you do not need to go to any government you use it you are the owner of your own creative commons licenses the license you put you don't need to register it but a copyright by default of course it is there with you it is there with you by default but but you have to register a copyright only then it gets an official sanctity only then you can like use it as an organization but creative commons you can use them these are two websites the presentation when you will see you can click on it search creativecommons.org and creativecommonssearch.creativecommons.org these uh, links will provide you material which is like under the cc now creative commons licenses they allow the content creators to openly declare the level of sharing if you remember i was telling you about the control you want to mention you openly declare that i have allowed this much sharing of my work the moment you say copyright no sharing the moment you say just share it and put my name share it but don't make money share it make money share it but don't modify it share it modify it but when after modifying you send it to other people tell them the original license was share the name of the source and modify original license which is given by you remains there now why this thing is required because uh, this is an alternative licensing approach and it is the most developed alternative licensing approach used worldwide now and it is user friendly for digital materials particularly for not for the printed ones but for the digital ones it is user friendly and the whole world is using it now now why it is needed rather than uh, talking about copyright i would say that uh, allow the creators who want to share their work in a legal way 
to define exactly what kind of sharing is allowed if you are giving, going to give me the powerpoint presentation sir that you have uploaded or the pdf that you have uploaded of your notes because you are going to make so much material yourself and if the if you are not able to get the credits then it will be something which is a wrong thing and the credit does not mean that you are going to make money of it but you you tell them that this much sharing is allowed now what why this particular thing is needed we'll will move on from this to this now please see there are three types of licenses in the creative commons one is a legal code that you can read i i'll demonstrate that on the creative commons website it is completely read as sort of an affidavit it is being read then is a human readable symbols the, the, these symbols are being placed first is a document as the terms and conditions are completely written as a written legal code is there there are three layers and all these three layers are available they are identical they remain the same and you simply give a link to the creative commons website which is a universal website everybody follows it there are three layers of these licenses one is legal code another one is human readable these symbolic icons are there if i see this icon uh, like this one the uh, sort of a human shape this is called attribution and this is called a reuse type of thing sharing and machine readable these barcodings are also provided these are three ways you people can use creative licenses now this is license number one one out of six there are six licenses this is the image ladies and gentlemen this is cc creative commons this is, means i am using creative commons and there is only one control that i want we are talking about the sharing controls how much you want them to like use there is only one thing you say i want attribution i want my name i want the name of the creator at present we have reached attribution 4.0 international cc by the our license that is there in the first image is creative commons is the common word which remains everywhere by 4.0 4.0 is the version of this license it remains same cc remains same things will come here in place of by if you see there is only by means only attribution only attribution is required nothing else and this web link that you see at the bottom this is the web link that you can add as a hyperlink to this image which is on your website or your blog or your uh, moodle site but when you people are putting it in the pdf you only put this particular image this only this image which is which is available on internet you say that cc by cc by is required you copy it and you paste it on the first slide or the last slide it does the magic of telling the people how much share is allowed you say share it but only put the name of the person citation is required now under this these are the descriptions that you people will read during the tea this presentation will be shared with you under the following terms appropriate credit is being written you indicate if the changes are being made so then that was first license the first license that we have used is by only the attribution then the second license out of six licenses you create by but you allow a share alike means copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format if you compare this thing with this this one and this one there is only buy here remix transform and build up upon the material for any purpose even commercially because you have not stopped it this is not about stopping this is about asking what are you asking say i am asking only to put my name in the citation if the people are going to share your pdf they are going to keep your name in it this one requires buy and share alike you want them to share it alike the same way as you have shared it they will be sharing it they can build upon the material but they will not be allowed to remove you the attribution and they are not allowed to remove the license also then we move on to license number three the license number three is attribution remains everywhere attribution has to be there but what is nd nd is non derivatives 
non derivatives means copy and redistribute the material in any medium or any format for any purpose even commercially now but this licensor cannot the licensor cannot revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms once this is there you're free you cannot derive particular segments out of it you have to use it completely means derivations are not possible the document has to be used now these are if you remix transform or build upon the material you may not distribute the modified material means as we talked about like you keep my name you modify it only for your students but you cannot redistribute it further when, when i'm saying student i mean you only you redistribute it and it goes to public but then it means you are breaking the original license given to you that nd is not possible non derivatives non derivative further sharing after changing should not be done if this image is there then another one that you can see there is a dollar and which is being crossed you have to cite the name but you cannot make money from it no commercial attribution is required you may not use the material for commercial purposes if you see in this one nc is not written there is no nc written it means you can use it in this there is no nc written you can use it for money also in this there is no nc written neither nd written you can modify it and you can share it redistribute it your wish here you can in the sa1 like this is the icon uh, sort of a circle with an arrow you can remix you can transform you can build upon the material you can redistribute you, you must distribute your contributions under the same license you can like what was the original license original license was by an sa so you cannot make it a commercial one you have to say that i'm using the same license even if i have modified it the author allowed me to share a like means i can modify but like cannot modify the license this is third this is the fourth one we are talking non commercial you cannot use the material for non commercial i'll share with you the link of my blog my blog says that you have to do the attribution and you cannot use the material that i am posting for commercial purposes so it says if anybody is going to use those notes by selling them i can tell the person this is illegal now this is the fifth license fifth license is which says by nc and sa what is by by is attribution of course should be there non commercial means no money and share alike means if you remix transform or build upon the material that i have made you must distribute under the same license as the original you cannot claim that this is my material and are now i want it to make money no it should not be done now this is the last one and see the last one is what last one is a complete closure of things it says attribution to be done non commercial to be done no derivatives if you remix you transform or you build upon the material that is being received by you you may not distribute the modified material no money can be earned by the material the name of the author has to be there and you can not redistribute or distribute it the material further so these are six licenses and this is the revision that i can bring to you first is by that is uh, attribution second is buy and share alike means you cannot modify the license even after modifying the the contents the third is you have to cite the person who made it and you cannot make money out of it but share alike is like not there so it means you are not bound to follow it the other one is no derivatives you cannot create the derivations and buy another one which is the fifth one is attribution to be given non commercial and no change in the license which was the parent license given and then there is a thing called creative commons attribution non commercial and no derivatives are possible now descriptions by means attribution nd means no derivative works nd others can only copy distribute display or perform verbatim copies of your work now this is something no derivatives they can only copy distribute display or perform verbatim copies of your work share alike is others can redistribute other can distribute your work only under a license identical to the one you have chosen to for your work earlier i gave license number 2 so even if you are doing something you are going to keep this license 
you cannot change my license which is the parent license non commercial is like you can copy distribute display or perform or even remix but you cannot make it a something which is a commercial use now this is what i can say if you see the first one on the top it says there is a circle in that there is a theta symbol which says public domain if you put this symbol if you don't put anything please remember it remains a copyright if you put this thing it becomes if you put this thing it becomes a thing in the public domain free to use you need to tell people that this is a free use thing you can use it if you do not put this why would they be confident and and trust you that you have given something which is free to use now these are the licenses and this arrow signifies the bottom is least free and the top is most free so the freedom of use the liberty the level of sharing becomes more liberal towards the top so here public domain most free and uh, attribution no money and no derivations allowed all these things happen as the least free thing so this is attribution this is attribution and share alike no change in the license allowed like there are sometimes some land or building is being sold and they tell you that you cannot change the basic you say structure of it you can modify it from inside that happens with the government structures or the government you say quarters or the flats which are given by the government you can change something from inside you cannot like uh, that 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 sounds illegal to them attribution should be given non commercial attribution should be given no derivations or derivatives allowed attribution is given no money and the original license cannot be changed and attribution is there non commercial and no derivatives are allowed so we recommend all these three things now please have a look at it these are the licenses which create openness versatility in your content it becomes easy for other people to use i'll be happy to put something in the public domain by putting this image and then i am gracious enough to give everything to the public domain if you do not give a license it is a copyright please remember so if you put public domain your notes can spread in the whole city if you say attribution your notes can spread in the whole city but your name has to be there people should remember this thing they should say that this this came from professor so and so and this is they people can use it even if like they are using it they are modifying it they have to keep the same license with them so this is what the creative commons is now these are certain websites you can choose licenses there are certain licenses which cannot mix with each other so this creative commons dot org link will be pasted in the chat during the tea and post tea in the hands on session all these things will be explored by you so everything will be coming to the whatsapp group also including this presentation so you say pdf so you will click and you will get there now have a look at it take a screenshot if you want check yourself unmute your mic and ask me if you have got a query about nd the full form of these things cc creative commons attribution creative commons share alike creative commons attribution non commercial share alike creative commons attribution non derivatives creative commons attribution non commercial non derivatives creative commons i'll i'll, I'll tell you something very interesting about it like uh, there used to be a game with us in the childhood they'll give us two pictures and they'll say find out the differences so i'll tell you there is something which is very very interesting here now with non commercial and uh, share alike if you can find share alike and non commercial they are together but is it possible to put nd and sa together nd and sa are not together like no no derivatives and share alike they are they are not being shown together it seems because they they clash with each other like you're giving me a freedom but you tell me that i have to be caged and the cage can like uh, the cage will be able to walk along so that is not possible uh, like you see this is a website this is one website which is edtech review and uh, like the journal i'm associated with the, that journal which is there and then this journal is under this website's uh, association so this is creative commons buy and share alike you use the publications that we are using but we won't allow you to change the licensing because we have not like mentioned it somewhere so you cannot use it this is the website that i write my blogs on my website says 
you have to share a like you cannot change the contents licenses this is by attribution is required you cannot make money from my notes and you have to keep the licenses intact these are the resources i have consulted and you people will be going to this website and now youtube.com and free music archives i'll open for you this is mr praveen kumar signing out and moving on to the chat finding out there are 12 messages stopping the presentation for one uh, it was a license is one of the several public copyright licenses exactly right hod it author wants to give other people the right to share this is this is the thing like you have you have pointed out very aptly like i want to give rights to other people to use and i want other people to understand that i'm giving them the right and don't worry about it so the reason is see uh, if you don't uh, tell a child how to walk the child may not may, may start walking the way the child wants to and then we'll try to we will we'll try to instruct them so rather than instructing them later let's let's specify it right in the beginning because almost every single teacher in the country every single teacher in higher education and i think i'm not wrong in that way every single teacher these days is required to post something online as a digital content if there is someone who is not posting it i believe the instructions are still there and the person might be doing it so if you are going to create some digital material doesn't matter you are the first generation user of a laptop in your family or you are very well versed with it still you are going to create pdfs you are going to create emails you're going to send them the pdfs if i send you something from oxford publications and i send you a pdf and uh, that's a copyright infringement because they didn't allow the redistribution so that is something wrong from my side but still like uh, we are teachers so people don't hunt for us uh, as per our syllabus content remix uh, maybe from two or three books yes for the syllabus we do and uh, we can find out but see for education purpose um i'm not here to make you afraid of it but for education purpose you have to be very careful and uh, you'll be surprised and when i say you'll be surprised you will wonder on one irony to, uh, in india uh, that uh, youtube or there are some other courses or you i am I'm, I'm sharing with you the creative commons and if I would have shared with you the, the a few slides of this presentation only, the irony is the contents on Swayam are not under Creative Commons. The videos, if you see, are copyrighted with the government. Now, that's an irony. And we wish that when you people are going to create your courses and you get associated with Swayam, you do write to them and insist that this is an age of Creative Commons. So, please. Put it in the public domain the the contents are copyrighted the author you are the maker you give the copyrights to the swayam agency the government that way the 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 course coordinator centers and the copyrights they are with them you can check it out on internet we read it we have worked on it so i'm sharing it with you now copyright presentation is not shown so it is not visible copyright term is yes copyright term is 60 years but like why i want anyone to wait for 60 years to use my content i want them to use it right now and i want them to feel confident that don't worry i have given you the permission to do this this way if there are bad people in the world there are good people also they don't even enter the you say territory of the household of someone without getting permission even if they were invited you have got students who don't even sit in front of you you have got guests who won't take a chair unless until you tell them please sit down so we are taking care of the people who are good hearted and good users so that is why we people give them these things uh, how can we know that whether the referred material is copyright or not dr mahindran quite a good question for the next 10 minutes we'll be working on it uh, K. Shirisha says, but by placing in your PPT at bottom, you can type as copyrights reserved. That also means filing can be done at next level. See, if on your PowerPoint presentation, if you put the copyright icon or you write copyrights reserved or you don't write anything, still the copyright is there with you. But 
because you want to share it with others and because you want them that you have allowed this much sharing you are not restricting the sharing by making it a copyright so that freedom will make them confident and forget about the students forget about the people around you think of the world the world knows what copyright and what creative commons is if your matter is in the digital form it is everywhere on the internet people wants to know whether they can use it or not and if they and and similarly bad and good people there are good researchers who don't touch the material which may land them in trouble after some years so if you want your citations to go you are going to put your on your blogs also like suppose i i'll just demonstrate something to you i'll i'll present my screen that explains the things better now what i'll do i'm sharing with you the website that i was talking about <clears throat> now this is my website uh, ma'am is it visible i'm opening it yes sir yes ma'am yeah, this was this is now fine ma'am now this is a website and now this is about a learning management system and uh, these are some blogs i have written the age of social distancing the coronavirus exam and tips to succeed quizzes for the classroom wake up to the morning or break the trio of failure in education suppose i'm opening this if someone is going to cite my blog they can cite it but if someone wants to copy this content and post it on their blog what are the rights the rights are like like this is something the trio that say people parent planners and pupils they are the to be taken care of now this is the license cc non commercial and sa so this website has got articles which can be used but attribution should be given so this is what i was talking about and if i would have written copyrights reserved see i have written here all rights reserved which is for the website's development or you say the cms which is which is going to be modified but all the contents which are there the contents are there there is no copyright of it the development the you say the programming programmed material they say is copyrighted it is something on oer movement is hope for the future this article is there i'll share this article with you like and this article can be used by anyone see i say image source wikipedia so i'm citing the image why would i like take the credit from someone who is uh, who has done something good for me so this is what i'm i'm, I'm trying to share with you all that if you do this it is a helpful thing now let me move on to the very first one uh, where would i go for creative commons okay i'll open the creative commons now creative commons dot org uh, mute your mic please now this is creative commons website once you go there it's quite easy to understand the things which are there and then the people are working on it and uh, it's a non profit organization which has brought something now see everything which on this site only requires these things these are the licenses which are there this is a attribution license only attributed to me and when you go to this website everyone can you see there are some people these are the websites which are providing you creative commons licensing suppose my friends are their vimeo is a copyright free one under this thing all these things are mentioned here i'll open something for you like suppose i click on this thing this website these are the website and you can also do something and tell them to integrate it in their portal also uh i'll go to something that the science teacher scientific research okay i'm opening it creative commons wikimedia.org and then they i'm opening in a particular image now suppose i'm opening youtube also and in the youtube i'll tell you i'm i'm moving on to share the resources from where you can get the material which is free to use by you there is a software which is, uh, please remember creativecommons.org what i'll do i'll don't look at the whatsapp group now there are things which will be coming uh, open it after t only 
VSDC. It is a software which is free, which is open source, download for free video software. There are softwares like Adobe Premiere or Filmora or Final Cut Pro which are paid. You, you end up installing the crack versions of the pirated versions. But VSDC is a free software, audio video editing tool, screen capture tool, camera recording tool. You can use it to record your lectures through the webcam. You can use it to edit your videos. So this video software can be used by you. There is a video editor, video converter, audio converter and audio CD grabber. So these things are there. What I'll do, I'll share with you the link to this website. The software is installed at my end. So I can demonstrate the use of it also a bit later. This is VSDC video editor. Video editing can be tried by your students, by the children around you, or if you want to explore it, you can also do it. It's a video editor. The icon is there on my screen here. There's a screen recorder also. The button is here. Another software that is required, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, Audacity. You have heard it. I guess it came to the list of softwares, prerequisites also. Audacity is a free open source. Now see, Moodle is open source. Open source means anybody can use it, no licensing. It's a free open source one. So Audacity can be downloaded by you and it can be used for audio editing. One more step, I'll do it later. Some IP verification issues, uh, the captcha thing. Okay, let's do it. Now see, this is YouTube everyone. On YouTube, and I am searching for T-H-E-R-M-O-D-Thermo. D-Y-N-A-M-I-C-S. Thermodynamics. P R I N C I P L E S. Now, suppose I'm going to share something of thermodynamics principles. Now, these are the videos, everyone. And uh, let me jump to Brian Weber. The complete playlist is there. And this video is being played in front of you. I am going to pause it and will tell you can I use it or not? Can you see this thing? This is Creative Commons Attribution License Reuse Allowed. Uh, ma'am, this it means I yes. am free to use it. Yes, ma'am. Now, suppose this was not written here. Now, this person who has created lectures and the lectures are like, about see, and, he, and that sounds very like good also. Let me go to something which is uh, Thermodynamics Crash Course, which is 865K. Let's go to this crash course in physics. Let's see whether the license is there or not. Now crash course, show more. In the description itself, the license is going to be there. Now, can you see? Wait a second, wait a second. I clicked on show less. Mm, show more. This crash course channel has given us all these things. Caption authors are being told and category is given. So we are not able to find what exactly is the license which is being like giving us the permission to, to use here at present. So what we do is we simply like try to go here thermodynamics principles in the search one when we are searching. You see there is a button called filter. I click on the filter one and these are the filters and you will find the, the word we are talking about. We are talking about this Creative Commons. We are talking about Creative Commons. So what I have done is I clicked on filter. And when I clicked on filter, suppose I click goes here, you, oh, this is what appears. I click on filter. I can click on upload date, time, duration, features and sort by. So I'm going to features under the features. I'm going to creative commons. Now every video which has been released under the creative commons, any category is visible here. Now these are the videos. There is a possibility. Now see, this is NPTEL HRD. This video falls under the 
creative comments because when they uploaded it and uh, one more thing i talk when i interacted with uh, a few regional uh, course coordinators uh, the people who upload they had less knowledge of the creative commons now that is why sometimes it is commercial now see here they have written creative commons attribution license and the terms of swam in the documents say the material is copyrighted so here reuse is allowed and how we reached here rather than opening every video it would be better to go to filters and create now this is creative commons anything if you are going to use something it's better to use the creative commons attribution license because attribution is everywhere the very first license by default is the moment you use cc attribution is there means your name has to be mentioned so remember this thing filter now another thing i'm sharing with you is p i x a b a y please see this website pixabay p i x a b a y it does not provide you everything for sciences and engineering there are different websites post lunch i'll share those links with you also suppose i want something for communication skills i'm writing a blog and i need an image uh, i have already made an account on it but i have not logged in without logging in i can download now see someone is writing a blog and says which image i'll say let me use let me use suppose these are the images for communication skills so let me go with communication only and uh, once i get the image which clicks to me in my mind i will click on the image i'll say let me use this one that looks interesting so when i click on this image and this image opens the website is pixabay everyone free download is there okay fine doesn't matter now see what is written here this thing pixabay license free for commercial use no attribution required now see uh, teachers this it means i can use this image i can this is in the public domain free for commercial use now uh, do you remember like uh, the the graphic designers the shops that design the flexes for us what do they do they download images from these websites you can also download it and what is the quality of download let's see free download of what size the pixels we can say these are hd images created by professional photographers who are not afraid of sharing things who who want to share the things so the free download which is like uh, available to us it is clickable just a second uh, the high resolution images from 445 to 426 pixels to high 1080 resolution can be downloaded i download these images and i use them in my blog for some re yes it is opening mm, until yesterday we did not have any trouble with downloading without the account it does provide I'll just see and prove it to you. And uh, one more thing, this is something very interesting and known to less people. I'm sharing it in your group. Now see what is this? Suppose you are making a video and you want an audio and you want to upload your video to YouTube and you are afraid like that YouTube will uh, capture that thing that you have used the audio of someone. So these are the audios given by YouTube audio library. And of course, if these are given by YouTube, you can use them on YouTube. But now, here is the button, attribution. The link is there, YouTube audio library. I'm listening to this music. I'm extending your T. This music, I say I liked. I'll say no, I didn't like. Genre, mood, instrument, duration. According to these things, you can select it from YouTube audio library. You can select sound effects also. And that is about making something very creative. You are using audios in your PowerPoint presentations also. You are using audios in your videos also. So these things are there. But all in when you are like these are the sound effects, the sound effects like uh, you say air nailer or something, something. There are so many animal growl. sound effects 
and when you are using it it is audio library but it will also demand the attribution acknowledgement uh, ma'am i'm extending these five minutes please attribution not required required attribution not required i click on all licenses or attribution required i'll say i don't want to mention the name of the creator i'll say attribution not required so everything which appears now says i can only download it from here Lilo. I'll download it from here. Hello. It is downloaded. It is there with me. I can use it. I'll say I can attribute. And at what is attribution? Attribution is only about the name of the person. Attribution required means this is the one who created. So I'll simply like copy this. They have given us this is the source. This is the artist. And this is the license that they have given. So I'll simply say this. And then I copy this wherever I am using it. It is a video, you say audio source this. So this is done. This is YouTube audio library. Closing it, Pixabay. In the Pixabay, you can download certain things. Then uh, you, you know one thing in the Scopus and the Algevir, Algevir also, there are uh, certain uh, pay, open access journals. So those open access, they also fall under the creative things, but you still attribute. Now, there is another website called freemusicarchive.org which gives you some content which is under the Creative Commons. Everything is not free, but they have specified under their, you say, uh, these are the, the tracks which are free. You can download them, you can use them. There was a tiny Asian woman screaming in the Pankaj street se baat karwa do. Pankaj. screaming at a person that she now these are copyrighted free you can use them for your uh, videos you make on mobile phones and something uh, if you like accept this thing playing music bollywood music in the weddings even that is the copyright violation but like uh, that is being done so this is one thing free music there is a thing called jamendo uh, there are some more places i have shared with you youtube i have shared with you pixabay I have shared with you Creative Commons. From there, you can go to any 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 other thing. Audacity and VSDC. These are the things which are there. I shall request you to put certain questions after. I'll just stop my screen. You can ask me certain questions and then we'll move on to T. And after T, anybody will be asked to share to which level the people have reached in developing the course. You can download images, you can download videos, you can share the links of the videos accordingly from the copyright free. And when you are creating content, you can allow them that thing. Uh, Pexels is there. Yes, yes. Uh, Pexels is there. Pixabay is there. Unsplash is there. Free images is there. Free pics is there. So there are hundreds many websites. The world, you know, our elders like still say this thing that the world is being staying alive because there are still good people in the world. So there are people who are sharing things. How to add a quiz? We'll be doing it. Don't worry. That's a small thing. Post tree, the very first thing will be adding the quiz. And I think uh, quiz and grades. These are the only two things we are we are left with according to the agenda for this foundation course. The news forums and chat boxes you have created successfully. Whether we can have Creative Commons license for the already uploaded video. Yeah, you can edit the licenses, I guess. But please remember, it is being said, and need to be checked again, that if you give it a Creative Commons license once, you cannot change it. So you decide which license you give. Give it a try, Dr. Lirubini. And uh, till now, I am not able to connect. So VSTC software is a free one. And uh, there is a software called Format Factory. Please remember, if you exit the chat, uh, if you exit the class, the chat goes away. A U D A C I T Y P I X A D A Y. Uh, Audacity is a sound editing software, and VSDC is uh, video editing and sound editing both. Format Factory is a converter. You can convert. Uh, your video to mp3 you can convert the video to different formats so format factory can be used to convert your pdf to epub your word document to pdf so such things are there in the format factory and uh, ff is free Format factory is free also then uh, remando for music 
sound c l o u d cloud as well so these are the things i'm talking please check their licenses because now you know what licenses are there if they say you can use it without attribution use it freely if they say that you can use it for commercial purposes make make money out of it doesn't matter uh, survey and quiz both are there 